Hi, today I'm going to show you guys how to make use of the color filtering project that I showed you guys in this video here to actually display X and Y coordinates for the object that you're interested in tracking. Uh, so again, if you haven't seen the first part of this, of this uh, two video series, then click here. And if you don't know how to set up Visual Studio and link to the OpenCV libraries, pl please click here. Alright, so I've already kind of gone through this code before, but today we're going to make use of two functions that were hidden before. One is use morphops, and the other one is track objects. So this one, use morphops, if you scroll up, um, let's see, where is it? Here it is, morphops. You can see that it's going to erode and dilate the object that you're interested in tracking. And that just means that it's going to cut down all of the other little specs that um, that you might still be getting as you're trying to filter the object. And it'll make it bolder. The second function that we're interested in is uh, track objects. And this one will... Uh, We'll draw a circle around the object that you're tracking and put the XY coordinates right next to it. Alright, so let's change these both to true. Alright, now we'll debug. And my external camera is the one set up to uh, to filter the object. So again, you have the HSV image, the original image, the threshold image, and the track bars. So today I'm going to show you guys how to filter this green here. So let's give it a shot. And you can see here in the original image, something's already trying to track. So let's see, looks like a good stopping point. Let's try to get everything else off. All right, that looks good. Here, we'll go there, okay, that didn't do much. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see, I like to make sure to really get it in there. So, uh, 105 looks good. So you see that uh, now there are no tiny little specks anywhere here, and the object looks a lot bolder than it did before. So there you go. Here is your object that you're trying to track. Now we'll take this down. Put it in front of the camera, move it around. And you see that the center of the object is what's being tracked. So here, I'll move this over here. That way you can see the threshold image. And it works really well, actually. Um, so yeah, it might depend uh, where everything is tracked on the lighting in in your room or wherever it is that, uh, that you're trying to track this object. So if you have any troubles with this, just keep playing with the uh, with the track bars, adjust your lighting, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. But um, it might benefit you guys to also look at the um, the video where I got the original code from, and that's down in the link down in the links below. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions, and thanks for watching.